final outing of the year at Brands Hatch for all three series took place in the warm sunshine at Brands Hatch in 2023. A really good combined grid of Super Saluda and Tin Tops, 30 cars in total, produced some terrific dicing which all started in qualifying. For most of the session it was Rod Burley sat on pole position in his BMW E36, but on the final lap Alex Sidwell snatched that away with a time over half a second quicker to take the pole position. Peter Selden swapped his usual BMW for a more powerful version which moved him up into Class B. He lined up an impressive third position overall. Returnee Paul Watson in his BMW took fourth spot, narrowly edging out TCR driver Adam Shepard, who was guesting in Jonathan Bevan's T2 Honda Integra. Steve Rothery was sixth fastest in his Peugeot 308, followed by Mark Cripps' BMW, Chris Bassett, second within the tin tops. Paul Restall was ninth the quickest, and then in tenth position, it would be David Cowan. A great top ten, but also our class pole positions further down. It would be fastest in class T1 for Gideon September, fastest in class TP for Rich Sanders, fastest within class T3 for Angelo Massanetto, and a great grid of 29 cars looking to storm into turn one at Brands Hatch for the first race of the day. Race one saw Sidwell take the lead into Paddock Hill Bend, with Rod Burley slotting into second and Watson up into third. A slight clash between Shepard and Rothery saw the Honda retire with a puncture whilst the fast starting Bassett jumped up into fifth spot. As Sidwell edged clear of Burley, Watson held off Selden until lap number seven. The BMWs of Cripps and Cowan demoted Bassett down to seventh with Martin Scott, Sean Fairweather and Jack Whitehead all battling over eighth position. At the front, it was Alex Sidwell making his way through the back markers and he had a slight slip up going into Surtees. In a flash, Burley pounced and took the lead just ahead of Richardson who spun going into clearways. All of this drama also allowed Selden to close up, so we now have three drivers battling away for the lead of this race. Burley held on for four laps until the mighty V8 Holden power passed him on the Brabham straight. Selden looked for an opportunity to grab second, but Burley just held on as they lapped Bassett, who was still the leading tin top all the way to the chequered flag. Further back, Watson held on to fourth position from the fast closing Crips, with Cowan winning Class C in sixth. Bassett was next, and behind him was Scott, followed by Whitehead, Scott winning Class D in the process. And after Fairweather had his spin in Surtees, he fell behind Matt Rowling, who was second in the tin tops, and Gideon September, who was the class winner in Class T1. In 13th, it was Ken Angel who got the better of Adrian Matthews, who won the driver of the race, with the recovering Richardson chasing the pair of them to the chequered flag. Rich Sanders took the Fiesta to Class TP honours, with a race-long battle with Sam Hayward. Great to see the two of them scrapping it out on track. Rick Scalzi was next ahead of Russell Hearn, and completing the finishers were James and Ian Seal, plus John Matthew and Angelo Massanetto. The retirement list included Rothery, Steve Dan, Lee Clough, Restall, Dave Avis and Shepard. Race 2 would once again see Sidwell lead away from the front, with Burley slotting into second and Watson in third. It took Selden until lap number 5 to upsurge the orange BMW and set off after Burley. And after just two laps, an audacious dive into Graham Hill Bend saw Selden emerge in second with his sights now set on Sidwell. The gap was just four seconds initially and it stayed at that until the leaders encountered lapped traffic. It fluctuated depending on which part of the track the slower cars were found and in the end it was Sidwell taking the victory over Selden and Burley. The three of them having a very impressive race all winning their respective classes. Burley also clinching the series title with his displays here today at Brands Hatch. Watson had a great start but unfortunately ended in a lap 6 retirement which allowed Cripps to take 4th position. From near the back of the grid, Rothery charged up into 5th place ahead of Cowan in 6th, also winning Class C. All eyes were then focused to Shepard battling from the back of the grid after a race 1 retirement in Jonathan Bethan's Honda. He was flying through the field and he reeled in Bassett and the two of them had some close battles on lap 15 and 16 and then even though Shepard had initially got ahead, it would be Bassett taking the win within the tin tops and 7th place overall, with Shepard just behind in 8th taking the driver of the race award. Scott again was next ahead of Whitehead, and then it was Fairweather, Richardson who won Class T1, then he was ahead of Rowling in his Honda, and then Restall would come up to 14th after a tough race 1. Matthews would be next, this time ahead of Angel and Bob Hosier who missed race one due to a fuel leak. 
September had slipped back to 18th as Sanders put out Avis, then Scalzi was next ahead of Hayward. He was followed by Hearn, James Seal, Ian Seal, and unfortunately neither Dan or Clough had any better luck in the second race, who retired along with Mayhew and Massonetto, who was a non-starter. Some really great racing at Brands Hatch and with only one round to go now we have a few drivers at the top of their respective series and they will be decided at the last round at Snetterton so be sure to come and join us there in the middle of October for the final round of the season. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. Goodbye.